The Dixie Fire has forced thousands of people from their homes as it continues to rage in Northern California, about 160 miles north of Sacramento. Right now, fire officials say it's threatening nearly 14,000 structures with more than 400 already destroyed and leveling the Gold Rush era mining town of Greenville. This looks like the kitchen because I see a yeah. stove right here. Oh my God. Yeah, that's her stove. <laughs> Homeowners became emotional getting their first glimpse of the devastation through video chats before they were allowed to return and see what's left of their possessions smoldering in ashes. I can't blame it's, it's very unbelievable. Heartbreaking. It's not about the materialistic stuff you can buy. It's just the memories that we have there. All the childhood, childhood stuff that we had is gone. Despite their loss, members of the community vowing to rebuild. We love you. You're in our hearts. And we will gain our town back. Greenville strong. Plumas County strong. So far, no one has died in the Dixie Fire, but five people were still missing as of yesterday afternoon. The Plumas County Sheriff's Office says two people have been reported safe, but they were still working on confirmation. The fire creating problems in neighboring states. Smoke pushing into Colorado and Nevada, leading to unhealthy air quality. Authorities are investigating the cause of the Dixie Fire. Pacific Gas and Electric says the blaze may have started when a tree fell on one of the company's utility power lines. PG&E says its equipment may have also sparked the Fly Fire, which later merged with the Dixie Fire. A U.S. district judge has ordered a full report from PG&E by August 16th. Right now, the fire is only 21% contained, forcing evacuation orders to expand. CAL FIRE says it could take two weeks to reach full containment.